In this video, we'll show you how to fix the NVIDIA control panel not opening. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. We really do appreciate it. And let's get right into this guide. Here we are on my desktop and let's get into this. So the first thing you need to do is go and open up your task manager. So you can do that by doing control alt delete, or you can just go and tap on the magnifying glass and go and click here and go and search for task manager. And then once you've found it, go and tap on it just like so. And here we are. Then all you need to do is make sure processor is selected and scroll down until you can go and see NVIDIA. And what you need to do is close the NVIDIA container and then you want to also go and close the NVIDIA web helper service. So tap on it, press end task, just like so. And then you want to go and press on um, Nvi NVIDIA container as well, press end task on this one. And then you may need to go and repeat it again for all of the others as they are quite a few. Now it is important to know that after you go and end them, they are gonna automatically relaunch. That's sort of the aim. It just sort of refreshes everything. Now let's go and get into the next fix. So once again, go and tap on the magnifying glass in the Windows taskbar. And what you want to do is go and search for services. So just type in services, just like so. And as you can see, it's an app. So go and open it up. I'm gonna go and zoom in on this for you. Then all you want to do is scroll down until you can go and see NVIDIA once again. Um, so to go and look for N. So here we are, we've now got NVIDIA. Now the two you want to look for is the NVIDIA display container and the NVIDIA a local system container. So once you see it, all you want to do is right click on it and go and press properties. And then you want to make sure that it's running and the startup type is set to automatic, um, just like so. So if it isn't already running, then make sure you go and press start and then it says running and then go and press apply and press okay. And then go and repeat the same for the NVIDIA local system container as well and make sure that it is set to automatic and that the server status is running and that start isn't available because that means it's running. The next thing you want to do is go and open up GeForce Experience. So go and tap on the magnifying glass once again and then go and search for NVIDIA experience just like so. And if you don't already have it, then all you want to do is head over to web browser and go and search for it and go and download it and install it. But I'm pretty sure you'll have it. So here we are on GeForce Experience. And what you want to do is go and select drivers in the top left. Then this is going to go and show your driver. And as you can see, I've actually got an update. So it's definitely worth going and pressing download um, and going updating it. Also go and tap on check for updates as well to make sure you've got the latest version. Also, if you do have the latest version, then it is definitely worth just reinstalling it. So what you want to do is scroll down and just find the one which is currently installed. And then you want to go and click on these three dots on the right hand side, which says more. And then you can go and press reinstall driver and that's going to reinstall everything. And if you've got the latest version already installed, then this, um, this box here is going to be right at the top. Um, but mine isn't because I've got a new version to go and download. So make sure you go and do that. And now the final thing you need to do is just go and restart your computer. It sounds really simple, but that is gonna go and fix a lot of issues. So definitely go and do that. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider leaving a like. Subscribe for more, peace.